Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This reading is going to be a pick a card or pick a feather in this sense for a message you need right now. A special message, a much needed message for this moment. So if you have not as of yet chosen a feather on the table, go ahead and do that now. There are timestamps down below where you can get an up close look at the cards you see on the table. There's a picture clip and a video clip in silence. So the reason why it's in silence is so that way you're completely undisturbed during your selection process. You can pause anywhere on the screen during that portion of the video. Take as much time as you need in order to choose. If during your selection process you feel led to pick more than one feather on the table, by all means, please listen to your intuition. Do what you feel is needed in order to get the most out of this reading. Listening to your intuition always will be highly encouraged here, by the way. Um, these readings are timeless, so whether you watch at the upload time or sometime later down the road, whenever it's placed into your awareness and you feel an intuitive nudge to watch, there indeed may be a message here for you. Nonetheless, what I always say is that these readings are general. There will be many of you watching. There's no way that I could possibly expect to connect with each and every single person that clicks on this video. Although I hope you manage to find a message here, but if you don't, maybe before you click off my channel altogether, Check out my pick a card playlist. I have a bunch of playlists there that I've already created of other pick a cards of many different topics, a variety really. Um, have some fun exploring my channel. You might find another pick a card reading somewhere in that mix that has the message you need right now, this moment. If you don't, let's say, you've explored my channel, you realize maybe I'm not the reader for you, that is okay. I trust that the universe will guide you right and true and lead you to the messages that you need for the best confirmation on your journey right now because that's how the magic works. And I trust that the magic of the universe will always guide you and lead you right and true. So with all of that being said, Star Family, let's go ahead and go directly to your reading of choice. Pile number one viewers, you chose this as your feather. There is a message on the back of this, so I will be sure to incorporate that into the reading. I just want to get more cards on the table first. We are looking at a much needed message for you right now. So I'm going to start with an oracle card first to try to get this reading started for you. So let's see, what is the message that you need right now? Much needed message for your journey right now. Let's see. One card, pile number one viewers. What is the much needed message you need right now. Okay, so it says summer. Everything that you've asked for or you're asking for becomes yours in the summertime. So depending on when you find this video, right? Um, but I love that it's a timing card because it's not often I get them. Um, it's not often they pop up in my readings, right? So if you're wondering, let's say, when something is going to occur, or when everything will come to full fruition. This is telling you that the summertime, right? The summer from whenever you watch the video. Everything is coming together is what it's saying. Everything you're asking for becomes yours in the summertime. So I don't know. I mean, if, if you look at it here, she's it kind of looks like she's blowing you a kiss, right? Um, so it kind of feels like also love is being sent your way. Could be like romantic love, but it could also be a blessing or a gift of some sort it kind of feels like love is some form of love is being sent your way it's like it's this feeling of your guides are saying I'm gonna show you you're gonna see how much you're loved right come the summertime so if you're doubting or wondering at all in your journey at this moment if you believe that you are loved right you're gonna see the evidence of that love demonstrate itself to you and whatever in the form of whatever it is that you've been asking for, you're going to see how loved you are. Okay. And it's just a matter of time. So it's giving you a timing card of summer. And I don't read time with the tarot because I don't believe necessarily in a fixed future. I believe that things are always subject to change based on our choices, right? Because we're the captain of our own ship and based off of, you know, the free will of the world and everybody who has their own free will and the choices that they make. So again, it's like everything is always subject to change. So when I get a timing card, it makes me happy because again, a lot of people want to know when, 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 right? Well, tarot doesn't necessarily tell time because everything is always subject to change. And this is 
giving you a time frame. So if you're wondering, here, here's your answer, right? Um, now, that's just my personal belief when it comes to the timing of things. Other readers might have different opinions differing opinions on that and that's fine that's just the way that I look at it right because everything in the world is constantly shifting and changing we can change our mind also from one day to the next we could decide to do something different altogether the person next to us might decide to do something different which then trickles down to us and affects our timeline do you see what I'm saying so I mean that's that's just my rant but anyhow the summertime okay let's see what is it that spirit needs you to know right now about this as well Let's see. Much needed message for you. Pile number one, viewers. All right. I have two cards. So let's see what we have. Wow. We have the four of pentacles and we have the five of pentacles. So I do feel like I should take another one because the five of pentacles is that energy where it's kind of like, it could be an energy drain. It could be something that you're worried about. It can be a sense of loss or lack or wondering. Again, if you're wondering about a timeline, wondering when something's going to come about, maybe you need something to come through for you, right? The fact that it hasn't come through yet also can produce the feeling of lack and loss. Right. So let's see the four. But the four of pentacles is also trying to remind you that you are secure. You are safe. Right. Because it's a foundationary card. So we have the eight of pentacles, the six of swords and the queen of pentacles. Look at all these pentacles. Oh, my gosh. I wasn't expecting really to take all these cards, but we're going to roll with it. Um, so we have the queen of pentacles. And again, it's that solid, stable, secure energy. Right. Eight of pentacles is telling you that your hard work is paying off. You may not be yielding a lot of fruit right now in the moment, but that's not to say that it's not going to start to demonstrate or show itself, okay? The Eight of Pentacles says on the card, achievement, education, results, right? For your hard work paying off. And it is about building up to something. So it kind of feels like maybe part of the issue is that you've been working on something really hard, maybe working on yourself, maybe working on a project, maybe looking to improve your financial situation or your career endeavors, right? And it just hasn't been making the kind of progress that you want to see. Um, but Spirit wants to remind you right now in this moment that the results you're seeking will demonstrate themselves. You will have something to show for all the efforts that you're giving. By the summertime, from whenever you watch this video, okay, it will come to full fruition. You will start to see the fruit on the tree to the point where it will be ripe enough to pluck. All right. I'm, I'm taking that analogy over here because it look, I'm using that analogy because of the eight of pentacles card. Look at the way it looks, right? She's plucking the fruit from the tree and the honeybees are there. And the, the honeybees are a symbol of fruitfulness. Okay. A sweet life. So it's the result of hard work paying off. You'll be able to actually tangibly see, touch, taste the fruits of your labor come the summertime. So whatever hard work you're putting into something right now in this moment, what you need to hear right now, okay, is that it will pay off. It will bear fruit. You will have something to physically show for it. You are moving forward with the Six of Swords into a place of harmony, balance, and alignment. It's a number six. That's what it brings us. The Six of Swords also speaks of healing and moving forward in a positive direction away from perhaps this energy of loss, lack, or I don't have enough, or maybe I'm not enough, right? The Six of Swords is moving in the direction of healing and it is bringing you peace of mind, okay? And it's also giving you this feeling of you can really put like the past behind you now, like all that feeling of last lock and last loss, sorry, lack loss. <laughs> you know what? Mercury retrograde is coming up and the pre-shadow, post-shadow phases, I'm a mess. Okay. So when it comes to my communication, so sorry if I am stuttering, but you're putting the feelings of lack, loss, and limitation with the five of pentacles. With the six of swords, you're putting it behind you and you're healing from that energy and that vibration is shifting out of your experience. Spirit does want you to know that you are safe, you are secure. The four of pentacles is telling you, you know, you're stable, you have enough. Queen of pentacles is also very 
uh, secure in her surroundings, in her environment, in her home. Virgo Capricorn Taurus, by the way, in case that applies to any of you, um, as far as a major energy in your chart. You may resonate also with this energy or you might be taking on that energy at this time, especially if you're putting in hard work towards your physical, like the physical materialization of your wishes, of your desires, right? Because we're talking about over here, everything that you're asking for becomes yours in the summertime. So you'll be putting a lot of work into your endeavors, into your goals, into your personal well-being and self because it's earth energy's pentacles. And again, right now it may seem like nothing's happening, perhaps even at the pace that you would like. But that doesn't mean that the results aren't going to show themselves um, eventually. And it's giving you a timeline of the summer. So Spirit wants you to know that you're creating the foundation for your future right now in this moment. All the hard work that you're putting into something is actually building up the foundation for your future moving forward with the six of swords brick by brick by brick by brick keep in mind that the eight of pentacles is always on the path right it's a it's a upward trajectory to have the nine of pentacles and then eventually the ten of pentacles it's not it's not far off and spirit wants you to know with the six of swords that you are actually moving in the direction of that Right, so you are going to be with the Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, right? Pretty soon, sitting very pretty, okay? Comfortable, because she always is. Queen of Pentacles is always comfortable. She has every need and desire met and fulfilled at every moment of time and point of space, okay? And that is actually an affirmation that you can use. It's part of a prosperity prayer that I put together on my channel, and I can put the link to the video in there, but... You could say as an affirmation, all my needs and desires are met and fulfilled at every moment of time and point of space, right? Repeat that to yourself. Whenever a negative thought comes in, replace it immediately with an affirmation like that, you know, and make that the present thought instead. Whenever you're feeling this energy of lack and loss with the five of pentacles, I, you know, I feel like some of you are wondering, when is this going to come through for me? It could be a job, right? Maybe you're feeling like an energy drain at the job that you're at right now with the Five of Pentacles and you're wondering if a new opportunity will come through. And the Six of Swords is saying, yeah, there's going to be an opportunity that comes through to help you get out of that place or out of that situation where you're not feeling fulfilled. You're fe if you're feeling stuck in any way, right, it will come along to help move you up and out of that. So you can get away from it. So you can put it behind you. Because the Six of Swords is an energy that puts the tumultuous behind it so that way it can move forward with peace of mind and healing. Okay, so consider the prosperity affirmation, right? As a way to kind of shift the mindset out of that Five of Pentacles energy. Because the one thing that I can say is that our environment, our physical environment can try to make us feel stuck, right? I'll give you an example because number four itself, right? Very stable energy, secure energy. In a, in, a, in a good way, yeah, when things are going great, we want to feel safe, secure, and stable. But when things are not feeling so hot, you know, that feeling of secure and stable actually can stifle us and keep us stuck, right? So if you want to look at it from a shadow aspect as an energy, Everything has its good and bad. So it kind of feels like there's a desire to get unstuck out of a situation that makes you feel like the Five of Pentacles. There's a desire to move up and out of it, right? And this is saying, yeah, you're going to be able to put that stagnant, stuck energy, right, behind you with the Six of Swords. Yeah, I do like I do like the number four, you know, I like that number a lot, <laughs> Because again, like when it when things are great, we want them to stay safe and secure and stable and as is. But when they're not feeling so hot, you know, sometimes we we want change, but things aren't moving. So then it feels stagnant instead. You know, so again, there's the contrast, right? Um, everything has contrast. So that's what this is saying here, and I feel like it's moving you all in a positive direction. So 
the feeling is here, um, don't lose sight, right, of what it is you're trying to accomplish by allowing the energy of the Five of Pentacles to come in and try to distract you from your hustle, your grind, right? Because everything that you're doing right now is leading you to a better situation and to a, a more healing and aligned situation, even though perhaps right now you can't see it. And that's the needed message. Like you, you need to realize you are stable, you are safe, you are secure. Things are moving along to get you up out of that energy, right? And things are healing and your progress is, right? You are making progress and your hard work is actually paying off. So maybe you just need, you know, a reminder that your efforts are not in vain, okay? So I do wanna see, well, not yet. You know what, let's grab, let's grab one of these. Okay, well, I have the whole deck upside down. These cards aren't red reverse, by the way. So look at that. New life is blooming, right? And the seeds that you have planted are taking root and starting to form. And you do have the sun here, which is a symbol of success and nourishment and life giving energy. So it's also telling me that new life is blossoming and blooming, okay? You're on the brink of your what the seeds that you have planted, right? Breaking ground. Because when you plant a seed in the ground, it has to kind of like sprout, right? And then work its way through the dirt before it reaches the surface of, of the earth to reach the sun. You know, and it's like, this is telling me that the seeds that you've planted are soon going to, again, surface level, show themselves. And that very much does align with what I was saying. The summertime is when you'll see your plants, right? Or the seeds that you've planted uh, start to sprout on the surface of the earth, on the surface of the ground, right? Or the dirt. It's giving you that beautiful timeline. And if you're watching this when I upload it, then it's not too far away. That's not too far away from the time I, I upload this. All right, so let's see what this card says. Chickadee, the time is right to release old patterns and energies. Whoa, doesn't, doesn't that remind you of the five of pentacles, right? The mindset or the energy or the energy drain of lack and loss and limitation, right? That is a, an old pattern that can hold us back sometimes and prevent us from seeing, right? The reality of of the hard work is actually paying off. It, it can prevent us from seeing our progress and it can also, also um, keep us in a mindset of limitation thinking that we're not good enough or that we're not capable or we're never gonna make headway or get that breakthrough, right? It's all of that, those old patterns of thought. Um, but it says the time is right to release old patterns and energies. You are ready to embrace change. Yeah. And the six of swords is that energy that's going to move you in the direction of that change to explore new territory in a better direction. Again, more aligned for you, better suited to you. This can apply to anything that's not working in your life right now, or you feel like you're not making progress in. Right, there is progress to be made here, new life to have. You know, you will see things start to blossom and bloom and start to come to fruition, like I said, to the point where you'll be able to reap the rewards of your hard work, reap your harvest, pluck the fruit off the tree in a tangible way that you can see it, you could touch it, and it's in physical form, materialized in front of your eyes. Okay, let's get a final oracle for this message. Pile number one, let's see, final oracle card for you. Okay, what does it say? Kindness, 
Live with compassion. Open your heart to all life forms. Be an angel with hands. You know, you know what I want to say with this? Show a little kindness to yourself, okay? Show kindness to yourself. You might also be the type to be a giver and share a lot of kindness with others. The thing is, is that are you, are you as compassionate with yourself as you are with others? Sometimes we're harder on ourselves than we realize, right? So to me, this is just telling you to have a little bit more compassion for yourself. Show a, a little bit more kindness to yourself, right? The five of pentacles, again, can be really hard on itself. All right, so this is just a reminder. So pile number one, this is your reading. This is what I have for you. If you feel that this reading has helped and connected for you in some magical way, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. If you want to take it a step further to support what I do, check me out on Etsy. The link to my Etsy store is down below. You can set, check out some of the things that I make by hand there. I have handmade crystal jewelry. I also have Libyan desert glass. Sometimes I have Moldavite. I'm sold out of that right now. And on occasion, I will put out personal readings as soon as my availability allows and as I complete readings for other people. So much love to you wherever you are. Take care of yourself and always keep shining. Pile number two, this is your feather of choice. There is a message on the back of this and I will be sure to incorporate that into the reading uh, once I get more cards on the table. So we are looking at a much needed message for you right now via the feather. Um, so we're gonna start with an oracle card, right? To see what that message is for you. So a message for you right now, much needed message for you right now. Let's see, pile number two viewers. Whoa, I have two cards here. Nice. All right, so let's see. Look at that. Everything's okay. Don't worry. It's all working out in a beautiful way. You've got the power. Use your abilities to resolve this situation. You can do it. You can do anything you set your mind to. Basically, you have the power within you. There's nothing that you can't handle. There's nothing that you can't accomplish. There's nothing that you can't get through, okay, is the message here. So let's see, I have the Wandering Star Tarot. Let's see what else we can get for your special message. A message that you need right now. Much needed message right now. Pile number two. So it's like, it's this feeling of like spirit giving you the reassurance that everything's working out the way it should, okay? And this is also a reminder, like, there's a need for you to stand in your power, to remember who you are, remember what you're made of, um, and not let the situations happening around you, perhaps, make you forget that, that you're a powerful, divine creator being, right? So let's see. Two more cards. All right, perfect. Perfect. Let's see. And I'm going to put this here in case I need more. All right, sweet. Wow. The Knight of Swords, the Empress. Holy cow. And the Knight of Pentacles, too. This is incredible. All right, and I'm going to tell you why. Because, first of all, you have two knights, which to me are energy of movement, progress, momentum, speed, action, right? oftentimes in the direction of whatever they represent in their suit. So in this case, we have a sword and we have a pentacle. <clears throat> the sword represents focus. It represents your thoughts, your mindset, right? It represents the intellect. So when I'm thinking of the Knight of Swords here, it's about you moving forward with your focus and not letting anything around you knock you off that focus knock you off that hustle okay and I say hustle because we have earth energy with the knight of pentacles we also have earth energy technically with the empress too because she represents Taurus so this is saying if there's something that you've set your mind to and you're experiencing right the highs and lows because it's saying highs and lows here for whatever reason it says tension yeah tension highs and lows right stress it, basically the knight of Swords can represent stress, a stressful situation. 
and you're feeling stressed out about something, right? This card is saying here, everything's going to be fine. Don't worry. It's all working out in a beautiful way. Spirit with this message is trying to reassure you of that, right? Don't forget your divine power. Empress is divine energy. She represents goddess. So does the high priestess, but that's a whole nother thing. Anyhow, the energy does represent the divine, right? That's why if you ever see like a reading with the empress and the emperor together, it, it speaks of a divine pair, okay? A divine counterpart. So whenever I look at the empress, I and I see also the, let's say, the high priestess or the emperor, I do think of your divine higher self, right? Oftentimes the empress can speak of the creatrix as well. So it's a number three, which speaks of expansion, growth, creation, and manifestation as a number energy. So what this is telling me is that if there's anything that you have been looking to manifest and attract or create in your life. Okay. Keep your focus sharp. Keep your eye on the prize. I'm sure you've heard that saying before with the Knight of Swords. Don't let anything deter you from what you set your mind to. Because right now you're in a very sensitive time of creation, of gestation. Like a pregnant woman who's pregnant for nine months. That baby is gestating in her womb, growing, expanding, becoming, okay? Just like a seed gets planted in the soil, it takes some time to root and grow before it comes up to the surface to reach the sun, okay? Same thing applies with the birth of a child. You know, that, birth, that baby has to be protected in that womb until it's ready to emerge, and, and all good things, right, that, that we are working towards or creating in our life and journey, take time to gestate and to develop. But we can't lose sight of the end goal. Matter of fact, we should be manifesting from the end, right? Imagining in our mind, this is also what Spirit is trying to get across to you. Imagine in your mind, right? Because imagination is the seed of all creation. So you envision in your mind's eye with the sword of the knight of... Knight of Swords. The end, the end goal. Live from the end is what they say <clears throat> when it comes to manifestation. Live, live as if it's already completed. Live if, as if it's already done. So that's a much needed message here, right? It says, Use your abilities to resolve this situation. You can do it. You can do anything. You can do anything you set your mind to. Live in the end. Live in the end result of its completion. Live in the outcome you want to see. Every day, right, that you wake up, your energy should take on the vibration of it already being completed. Your energy should take on, I guess, is what this is saying. The outcome you want to, to live in. And you assume it. As if it's already done. You assume the outcome that you want to see. It's called the law of assumption. The law of attraction when it comes to manifestation. Doesn't work necessarily. It doesn't work unless you assume. It doesn't work without the law of assumption to go along with it. You have to be that which you which you want to be. You have to embody that. So this is saying embody the outcome that you want to see. And that is the result that you will have and you will move naturally in the direction of it. That is what you will birth into your experience with the Empress. I call her the birth of a dream. She is the birth of a dream. Some of you could also be looking to get pregnant or birth a project into your experience or an idea with the Knight of Swords into your experience. Um, and this is also what Spirit is saying. This is a very fertile time for you. So if you actually put your mind to it, your thoughts and your energy in the direction of that and you live in the end, you will materialize this with the Knight of Pentacles. You will see it come to fruition. 
Knight of Pentacles is making progress one step at a time in the direction of what it desires. It's the physical steps in the direction of it. Knight of Pentacles is also, you know, an energy that invests in things, right? Knowing with the, actually with the know-how, right? The Knight of Pentacles has the know-how to invest in things and it's going to put its energy into something that it knows will materialize. So this is also, to me, a good confirmation that whatever it is you're trying to materialize and or manifest and bring to your experience right now is something worthy, right? Uh, and it's a worthy endeavor. It's a worthy endeavor and it's tangible. It's actually realistic. It's not like you're living in your head about this, okay? It has merit. Because earth energy is things that you can touch, okay? It's things that we can see with our physical two eyes. And it's things that we can physically experience around us. The Empress speaks of abundance and fertility. She is divine goddess energy. So I'm also like with this reading trying to remind you of, you know, you have divine power to create. You are a creator being. Don't forget it, right? Don't let the circumstances of the world and your situation, perhaps, right? Whatever, whatever situation you find yourself in, don't let others or your situation make you doubt for a second how powerful of a creator you are. That's also the much needed message here. All right, so... This, this is kind of feeling like also to say, um, to ground yourself a little bit as well, because the Empress can speak of mother nature, right? We also have the earth energy of the Knight of Pentacles. So this is also feeling like to center yourself, ground yourself, whenever you're feeling like you have no idea which way you're going, let's say, sometimes we can feel like everything in life is up in the air. Um, and whenever you feel like that, right, you have to kind of like center yourself within your own divine being ground yourself nature helps with this as well kind of put you at ease it's such a healing energy um in nature so maybe touch a tree right hug a tree I, whatever you got to do take your shoes off put bare feet in the grass okay that's the kind of advice that feels like it's coming through with the empress um connect right and get to a point where you can Hear the voice of your inner being because your inner being and spirit is trying to tell you that everything's okay. Right? What what you're looking to manifest, attract, and or create in your world and bring about into your physical everyday experience is worth pursuing. You are capable. Please know this. All right? Don't forget your divine inner power. And even if you feel stressed with the Knight of Swords sometimes on the journey, even in the midst of that stress... Keep moving forward, right, with your focus. Don't let anything knock you off that focus, all right, because you got this, right? You're making progress with the Knight of Pentacles. You're making progress. Progress in the direction of your goals and desires, okay? And you will make progress where it can be seen. So let's see if we can get a card here. All right. What do we have? Again, I grabbed the whole thing upside down. Um, but we have illuminate. Yeah. You're going to see, okay, you're going to have enlightenment. You're going to have insight into this, right? You're going to, Spirit's going to deliver that insight. Maybe even a download or an epiphany or something like that. Because whenever you get an idea, okay, or you get the light bulb go off or you have a sudden realization, you you do have that moment of clarity and illumination. Spirit enlightens you with what you need to see, what you need to hear. It's going to open your eyes, okay? If there was ever a doubt that you were capable, Spirit's going to enlighten you to show you that you are, right? That's what this is saying. You're going to have your awakening moment where you realize it. So let's see what this card says, and then I'll grab a final. Cardinal. Stand tall and proud. See the leadership role unfolding ahead of you. Look at that. 
okay, why did I just get the vibe that some of you are get again are coming into a position of power, right? It says you have the power, and then it says leadership. Cardinals also might be for some of you um, a sign of those who have crossed over and now are acting as or taking on the role of your guides, okay? That might be a spirit animal for some of you as well. Um, any of the birds really in the, in the cards that show up can be. Anyhow, it feels like you're taking on, you're stepping up into a position of power, right? Or you're leveling up even in your journey and learning to and, and acknowledge your right personal power. You're stepping into your personal power. Part of the journey to pursuing this goal or whatever it is that you desire, manifestation, right, is actually helping you to learn how to wield your power. It says, stand tall and proud. See the leadership role unfolding ahead of you. So some of you may actually be stepping into a position of power, leveling up figuratively, figuratively or literally. Some of you might actually end up getting a promotion if we're going to look at it at a very like literal level right you could be where you're working right now you might enjoy your job yes but you know maybe you want to advance okay so this is kind of giving me this vibe of like upgrade there's some kind of upgrade that will take place on the other side of materializing this goal or vision that you have for yourself knight knight of swords would be the visionary energy okay Again, don't lose sight, right? The I. Don't lose sight and or focus of the outcome that you want to see. Right? Because it feels like here with the two energies of movement and travel, you're on, you're already on your way there. You you just may not realize it because, you know, there could be a lot of stressful things happening around you and it kind of uh, makes you lose sight of that. Okay, so let's grab a final oracle here. File number two. Final oracle for pile number two. All right, what do we have? What? Journey. Look at that. <laughs> Funny enough, the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles is a journey, right? They journey, they move, they travel, they're on their horse. And then we have this person riding the unicorn. So to me, it's very similar to the Knight energy, right? So let's see what it says. Focus on how far, look at that. Don't lose your focus, right? Don't lose your focus. Focus on how far you've come, not how far you have to go. You will find help in unexpected places. Need I say more? Need I say more, right? There's nothing more that I could say. Like that just totally brought it home. You're on a journey. Like I said, that this whole manifestation or the end goal, right, is a journey in itself. It is. You're going places even if you can't see it quite yet at this moment. So again, focus on how far you come, not on how far you have yet to go. You will find help in unexpected places. Spirit will place, right? Who you need, what you need along your path as you need it. Absolutely. So this is what I have for you. Pile number two viewers, this is your reading. If you feel that this is helping connected for you in some way, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe to support this channel. Want to take it a step further to support what I do? Check me out on Etsy. The link to my Etsy store is down below. I make a lot of cool things there by hand uh, on my free time. I also have uh, sometimes Moldavite there. Currently sold out of that. But I do have Limian Desert Glass as well if you're looking for Tektite Crystals. I also have tarot readings there. Also, when available, keyword when. Again, as my availability permits, okay, I will post readings for my audience. So much love to you wherever you are. Be well, be safe, take care, and always keep shining.
Pile number three, you chose this feather for your reading. There's a message on the back of that. I will be sure to incorporate that into the reading as soon as I get more cards on the table. So we're looking at a much needed special message for you right now. So let's see what is the special message for you right now. Much needed message for you at this moment. Okay, what do we have? Autumn is in the fall season. Everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvests of abundance. So this is giving you a timing card, which is pretty awesome. I kind of feel like I want one more though. Um, Cause the other two piles had multiple cards as well. So let's see, let's see if we can get another card for you. And it's not often that I get timing cards either um, in readings. Let's see. Business venture, trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. All right. So some of you are looking to start something new, start a new project, take the first step on a new idea. And it's telling you to trust whatever innovation that you have come up with, right? Trust and follow through with it, whatever it may be. Maybe it's not a career endeavor. Maybe it's not a business, right? Maybe it's something else altogether that you're you know, you, you came up with this idea and it's like, okay, should I do this? Should I not do this? Right. And this card is saying, it, no matter what it is, follow through with the idea that you've been debating. Trust yourself enough to follow through with it. Because in the fall season, it says everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvests of your abundance. And what's really cool here is that this is talking about harvest of abundance, right? And then look at all the co gold coins, all the gold coins that these little gnome guys are collecting, you see? So something good will come out of this. Some kind of blessing, prosperity, abundance will come out of whatever it is that you're considering doing. You know, something might, as a result of following through with this idea that you have, you will benefit from it in some way is what this is saying. You will have something to benefit from it. All right, so let's see what else the tarot says about this. All right, so we have one card, the justice energy. Let's see what else. Justice is a good indication that things will all work out, okay? That it'll work out in your favor. Some of you might also be Libra. Let's see if we can get at least two more cards. All right, what do we have here? What, the chariot and the four of cups. Okay, so the feeling of the four of cups, this is really weird because it doesn't always give me this, this um, interpretation. The four of cups for whatever reason right now in this reading is telling me you're sitting on this. You're sitting on an idea, right? Whatever it is, it could be money related, work related, career related, anything else related really it could be even travel related with the chariot it could be about moving right maybe you've been sitting on the idea of moving somewhere different uh going somewhere right um but the four of cups is giving me the feeling that you're sitting on this idea and the chair next to the chariot this is telling me that you can't sit on it forever You can't sit on it forever because the feeling also here is you'll never know until you try, right? How, how could you, how will you know that you can succeed unless you give it a shot? You know, sometimes when we take risks and do something out of our comfort zone, that's where we learn, that's where we grow, that's where we challenge ourselves, okay? The justice card is also saying that things will come into alignment. Things will work out for you, but you can't sit on this, right? If you want to know, if, if you want to know if you'll succeed, well, you have to, you have to try. You have to put your foot out there. You have to take the first step. You can't sit on it. 
Four of Cups also talks about like the status quo, right? And sometimes we get bored with the rat race, the humdrum, the same shit, different day. We hate, you know, after a while we hate that energy or it just doesn't feel good. It feels stagnant, right? Well, sometimes we got to live our truth, right? Because the justice sword, the justice sword always delivers the truth. So we got to be true to ourselves and break, a, break ourselves out of the monotony of whatever it is we're not satisfied with. Because the Four of Cups can speak of dissatisfaction. It's that meh energy. That's how I describe it. Like, eh, right? Is there anything ever going to get better? Is anything ever going to improve? You know, I, I want to see results. I feel stuck. I feel stagnant. I want to see things start happening for me. You know, I'm bored with this, the status quo. And for whatever reason, these two cards together, the Justice and the Four of Cups is giving me the feeling of the Sword of Truth coming in to break you out of convention. To break you out of what the norm is or what is expected out, out of you, right? Break you free out of the disillusion, the monotony, the stagnation in order to bring you balance, alignment, and equilibrium with the chariot in the direction of things that are in harmony and in balance. I say that because we have two, well, normally depicted, right? It's the cheetahs this time, um, which cheetahs represent speed, high, high speed energy. But normally it's horses, right? And the two horses have to work together along with the chariot. It's about harnessing all your energy and moving forward. And once you've decided with the sword of truth, you kind of put this energy of stuck and stagnant behind you and you move forward with what you've chosen and then you get the ball rolling is also the feeling here. So the feeling here also is with these two cards, spirit is saying to you, well, it's a matter of just deciding, decide to decide, right? Because the longer you sit on it, right? You're going to delay your success. You're going to delay the journey or the progress that you could be making over here with the chariot. Number seven is an energy of personal and spiritual growth. So again, the feeling here is, is that there's something to learn and something to uh, gain as a result of following through. That's why it says, trust and follow through. The chariot is guaranteeing your success because you're you're going to be put on the path to harness your energy to move forward with your decision once you decide. You might be sitting on it with the four of cups right now feeling like, oh, I don't know if I can. But spirit is also encouraging you here to move forward with the chariot because once the chariot moves forward, he doesn't look back. He doesn't look back. And he's balanced. He has to be balanced because he has these two opposing horses, right? They have, they, they're two different heads. They, they decide, one might decide to go this way. The other one might decide to go that way. And he has to be in control to harness that into alignment in order to move forward in a single cohesive direction. So it could be that some of you right now are like dabbling back and forth in your mind, like, oh, I don't know, should I? And then the other side of you is like saying, yeah, you could do this. And then the other side of you is like, well, I don't know. And it's like, we could fight with ourselves, right? That way. Um, and the chariot is, is indicating that you're going to eventually get to a point where you're not going to be able to sit on this idea anymore. You're going to have to follow through with what feels true to you. And you're going to have to harness your energy and align and balance yourself right? In order to, to do it, pursue it, or conquer it. Those two different voices, right? The one might say, yes, let's do it. And then the other one might say, oh, no, are you sure? Right? Those two different voices, we kind of got to like reel those in. We got to like, yeah. You know, we got to pull them in, wrangle them. And the chariot is giving me that energy of like wrangling those thoughts and saying, uh-uh. You know, I've decided, I'm following through, I'm moving through with it, and I'm going to move forward, I'm not going to look back. Once I decided, that's it. And the feeling is here, Spirit is encouraging you to kind of like get up, I'm going to say, it, get off your ass, right? And do something. <laughs> Let's keep it real. 
that's the four of cups because the feeling that I got when I first saw the card was like, oh, you're sitting on this. You're sitting on this and you haven't done anything about it yet, right? But the feeling is spirit's just waiting for you to like decide to take it upon yourself and and do it. You want to shake things up. You want to make you want to make things happen. Sometimes you got to shake things up. Get out of the ordinary, right? Break convention. Get out of your comfort zone. Take matters into your own hands, right? That's the feeling here. The Four of Cups is also an indication that if you shift your focus, right? Because she's she's looking at these three cups and she's like, eh, right? But what she doesn't realize is that Spirit's trying to deliver something on her heart. So to me, this is saying this idea, or whatever it is, in what er whatever area it's related to, right? Spirit's trying to deliver you that thing because it's something valuable on your heart. You know, that is an Ace of Cups floating in the background there. And Spirit's trying to hand you that Ace of Cups, whatever that may be. The Ace of Cups is an indication of something on your heart. Yes, it is love. It also speaks of opening your heart and, and allowing yourself to be receptive. To try, to at least try, right? Because again, the feeling here that I got was, how are you going to know unless you try? You, you owe yourself at least that, right? Because I, the feeling, you know, that comes up a lot of times is like, when, when we're debating, right? At least for me personally on my journey is, and this is a question you can pose and you can ask yourself because I've asked myself this many times. Um, do you want to be that 90 year old person sitting on your porch wishing you would have, right? Wishing you would have tried, wishing you would have done this or that or taken a chance on yourself trusted yourself that's why it says here trust and follow through i don't think any of us want to like grow old right and and wish we had adventured more is the feeling that this is giving me <laughs> you know with the sword of truth is always going to stand in its truth right with the justice she's always going to Balance the scales in the direction of what's right and what's true. And sometimes we have to come to that conclusion for ourselves. We have to come to the conclusion of what is best and right for us. And we have to make that decision. We have to make that choice. Because sometimes a justice card can talk about deliberating something. And it does kind of feel like that back and forth, back and forth. And the scales are going like this, right? Which way do I go? What do I do? What do I choose? But Spirit's trying to encourage you here that if you take this journey, it'll put you on the path to a lot of spiritual and personal growth. But it'll also put you on the path to your success because the chariot guarantees that. Cancer energy as well over here with the chariot. It'll be a journey, right? It will be a journey, but it's in the direction of the thing on your heart. And Spirit doesn't want you to sit on this too long. Okay? The autumn card is guaranteeing you, again, the harvest of your abundance. So again, it's a timing card. From whenever you watch this video, you will start to see some major progress come autumn. All right, and you will reap wonderful harvests of abundance for having gotten off your ass, basically, right? <laughs> and done something about the idea that you've been sitting on. So let's grab... An, or a little oracle card here, then the feather, right? And then a final. So let's see. Like I said, for some of you, it can be business ventures. For some of you, it could be a new field of study. For some of you, it could be um, a personal goal, right? That you want to achieve. Maybe even for some of you, weight loss. I don't know. You know, that's a goal. Any goal. Um, any endeavor, project, idea, manifestation, right? Money-related, career-related, possibly, for some of you, sure. You know? But it's whatever idea you've been sitting on is what Spirit is trying to get across to you right now. Spirit just needs you to decide to decide, right? Um, but let's see. Look at that. Mm-hmm. 
the honeybee labor business career work related possibly for some of you yes absolutely Spirit's also saying here that if you, you know, decide to decide and you decide to step in the direction of the thing that rings true and feels true to you on your heart and you take that journey to find out if you will succeed, okay, you will have, you will have some sweetness to harvest with the honey. A sweet, it represents a sweet life and it does represent the sun and success as well. The bees. Your hard work will have something to show for it and your hard work work will pay off is what the honey and the honeybee is representing here so you could also expect that you'll have some work cut out for you sure but it'll be worth it because you'll have something to show for it you will have your abundance the honey is also again it can represent prosperity again prosperity and success it's richness it's sweetness it's being able to enjoy the fruits of your labor okay your efforts will have something to show for it. So, let's see. Oriole, look at that. A new, look at that. A new creative event, or new creative venture is on the horizon. See it as a positive change. Whoa, wait a minute here. Wait a minute here. Let's, let's bring it home. A business venture, a new creative venture, Talk about synchronicity, right? Mm -hmm. It's a positive thing. Spirit is trying to get this across to you. This is a positive opportunity and move for you. A new positive venture, whether creative or business, whatever idea it is that you have, right? This will yield something super positive for you. So follow through with it. Trust spirit, trust yourself to make the choice and follow through with it. All right, you're going to have abundance here, success here, right? Harvest of abundance to show for it, success and progress, right? Absolutely. So let's get a final for this. This is a big old yes to me. Um, if you've been debating it, right? And if you're feeling restless... It's because, like, this is something that you're supposed to do and you can't just sit on it. Spirit's not going to let you sit on it. Okay. So that's the much-needed message here, to follow through with whatever idea it is that you have. Final Oracle for Pile 3. All right, what do we got here? It says... Clarity. Banish the fog of illusion. Open your eyes to the truth. Look at that. I was mentioning the sword of truth, right? Remember the perfection of who you are. Remember your power. Remember who you are. Remember you're capable. Clarity and insight is incoming, okay? To break you out of the confusion. Because whenever I think of like gaining clarity, in order to gain clarity, you probably were in a state of confusion before the clarity came, right? So this is kind of telling me that clarity will come. The truth will be revealed with the justice energy to show you what you need to do to get break you out of this funk of the four of cups because it's a funky ass energy, right? It's a meh energy. So there'll be some kind of revelation or truth that comes through, a moment of clarity to break you out of your funky energy is also what Spirit's saying here in order to move you with the chariot because it's a card of travel and movement, move you in the direction of what you desire or what you set out to do. Okay, so the feeling is here with the cards, follow through. There's something to benefit you in the pursuit of this venture, whether creative business or something else. Stand in your truth. Decide to decide. You're going to gain clarity in the right direction. Okay, right now you might be feeling funky, stagnant, and wondering how you're going to get up out of this situation or pursue what it is that you desire. But spirit is going to bring clarity for you. Okay, and show you how to proceed forward. So pile number three, this is your reading. If you feel that this has helped and connected for you, by all means, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. You want to take it a step further to support what I do, please visit me on Etsy. The link to my Etsy store is down below in the description box. 
pay me a visit there at any time. I have handmade crystal jewelry amongst other things like powerful tectite crystals like Moldavite, Libyan Desert Glass, and I even have tarot readings there on occasion when available as my availability permits. Um, I will repost readings for my audience on occasion. So visit me at any time. Much love to you wherever you are. Take care and always keep shining. Pile number four. This is your feather of choice. There is a message on the back of this card and I will be sure to incorporate this into the reading as I get more cards on the table. I'm going to start with Oracle System first to see what is the much, much needed special message here for you right now. So let's take a look. Pile number four. Much needed message for you right now. What is that? All right, what do we have? Whoa, your wish is granted. What you've asked for is coming true. That is what you need to know right now. What you wish for is coming true. So you're on the brink of, I don't know why I just got breakthrough. That's not usually something I get with this card, but um, you're on the brink of a breakthrough, it says. And it has to do with your wish fulfillment, maybe something that uh, you've been desiring, perhaps even for some of you, a manifestation. So spirit wants to kind of assure you. So if you were looking for confirmation, okay, of your desire coming to fruition or your, your wish or manifestation, spirit is saying here, what you've asked for is coming true. So this is your confirmation message. That's what you need to hear right now. So if you were doubting it at any time, this is your yes. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if we can get more cards. This is the Wandering Star Tarot. Much needed message for you. Pile number four viewers. One. Two. One more. All right, well, there's two there, so let's see what we get. Page of Cups, the Hermit, Four of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. Okay, fascinating. I don't know, like, I do want another one, I'm not gonna lie. I do want another one. Let's see if we can get one more. Knight of Cups. Oh, wow. Okay, so we get some progression from the Page of Cups to the Knight of Cups. All right. So Spirit is saying here that what you wish for is coming about. All right. It is coming true. You've been in your imagination over here with the Page of Cups. Okay. And this is all about the subconscious as well. The little fish in the cup with the water, right? It represents the subconscious. So a lot of times it has to do with our subconscious thoughts and beliefs. Uh, but it also has to do with the imagination, right? So when we manifest, when we use the law of attraction, law of assumption, they should go hand in hand, by the way. Um, in order to get the ball rolling in any manifestation, we have to imagine it. And like I always say, imagination is the seed of all creation. It is in that space of imagination that we create the world that we live in. Okay. And oftentimes our imagination will plant the seed in our subconscious and the universe responds to our subconscious thoughts, programming and, and feeling. All right. And basically this is saying somebody or you, right? Somebody's been, somebody has been wishing really hard for something, right? And they've been meditating on this dream, wish manifestation, and they've been digging deep in to that into their inner world, okay, with the Hermit and the Four of Swords especially. So, pile number four viewers, you have been uh, working in the spiritual realm, okay, trying to materialize and manifest something into your physical world. Because everything starts in the spiritual realm first. It starts in the inner world first before it can be birthed into our experience. And what this is saying here is that Pile number four viewers, you have done the work, okay? You have done the work on a spiritual level. You've stepped into your heart with the Page of Cups. 
you've done your healing work, right? You've gone inward because that's what the hermit does. The four of swords is basically that quiet space, right? So is the hermit. These are cards of non-action. And that's another thing I want to bring up. The non-action sometimes is purposeful. When we're not seeing or making progress or we're not visual, visually seeing progress on the journey towards a goal, a wish, a manifestation. Okay. A lot of times that moment of quiet where nothing seems to be happening and things are really still and there's not a lot of activity happening in the direction of our dreams, that is actually purposeful. All right, and it's it's necessary, right? Because there's moments of action and momentum. There's moments of speed and stillness. And, and each part of the journey is purposeful. So even though you haven't been seeing a ton of progress on the outside, that doesn't mean that there wasn't things happening on the inside. There was a lot of healing and growth taking place on the journey to prepare you to move with these two cards in the direction of your wish. Four of cards, or four, I was about to say four of cards, <laughs> four of swords. And again, forgive me because as I'm recording this, we're entering the pre-shadow period of Mercury retrograde and it always messes with me. Um, I have Gemini in my chart and I always get really affected by it. Um, anyhow, so I get tongue-tied. <laughs> so anyhow, the four of swords is an energy of rest, recuperation, quietude, taking a step back, right? Trying to like get your head on straight, heal, recuperate, recover, meditate. Hermit is an energy of taking a spiritual journey to find oneself. So the, also the feeling is here, like on the journey to trying to manifest something, you've been you've actually taken the journey to get to know yourself in the process you've also been put on the path to heal aspects of self that needed healing and to get more in touch with your inner world than you've ever had before so even though things on the outside maybe have been slow on the go because number four can represent you know things that are kind of like not moving very well it's a card of non-action um that moment of stillness and quietude and where there wasn't like a ton of activity on the outside, right? That was purposeful. Because part of the journey to manifesting this wish is actually healing you. It's helping you to navigate your inner world, right? Helping you to walk and trust spirit on the journey and the light of spirit to guide the way. You've also learned to trust yourself. Like the Hermit to, you know, these, both of these cards, Eight of Cups and the Hermit are cards of a pilgrimage of the soul, a quest. This wish or the journey to this wish is a quest in itself. The journey is meant to change you. All right, I, I did a... I did a video on this not too long ago. So there's two videos that I'm going to have to link so you can understand what I'm referring to. But what I was saying is that the journey is meant to change you. I'll put the link to those videos um, in the description box as well as in the comment section. But the journey to the wish is, is basically, in this case, in your reading, is meant to change you. You're not meant to be the same. It's a pilgrimage of the soul. And on the pilgrimage to the wish and in the direction of your soul's calling, you will change through the process. It was part, it was part of the whole thing to begin with. The feeling is that spirit was using the wish as a means to change you, to heal you, to lift you up so you can grow spiritually, learn to trust yourself more, learn to trust spirit more. Do the inner work. Take a step back. Go inward. Reflect inward with these two cards. Right? 
I just heard rearrange the subconscious programming, like flip the script on it in some way. Get in touch with, with the Page of Cups, also your inner child, your imaginings, your inner world, the spirit realm. Because anything that we ever wish to create in our physical world started in the spiritual realm imagination first. And you drew it down from spirit and made it material in the earthly. So this wish, okay, the journey to this wish is was actually teaching you how to do that. And that's the much needed message right now. You need to know that all of this was purposeful. You being put on the path to this wish was purposeful. It was meant to change you, heal you, elevate you, put you on the path to growth, put you on the path to heal your inner child. Get more in touch with yourself, more in touch with spirit so you can trust. Right? And initiate change for yourself. Where needed, when needed. With full confidence of it. Stay And to teach you also how to stay in your heart. And not give up on the things on your heart. Because sometimes when we don't see any action happening on the outside world. We can tend to kind of like throw in the towel and give up. Right? We want to see things happening. We want to see a measure of progress. In the direction of our goals, our wishes, and our manifestations, right? Sometimes, but sometimes on the outside world, that's lacking. We're not really always seeing that. But when that happens, when we're not seeing it on the outside, that's because there's stuff going on in the inside. There's a lot happening on the inside, your inside world. The Eight of Cups is saying here, that this was all preparing you to walk in the direction of your heart's desire. Knight of Cups, Eight of Cups. Some of you are desiring new love, by the way, with the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Some of you also with the Eight of Cups are walking away from the things, people, places, and situations that no longer serve you. You have meditated on this with the Four of Swords. You have gotten in touch with your inner being with the Hermit. And you decided, I'm not going to tolerate whatever this is that's not serving my greatest purpose and path and well-being. And I'm going to take it upon myself. Now that I've sat with myself enough to understand what I need to do, I'm going to now take it upon myself to walk in the direction of my worth. Because with the Eight of Cups, a lot of times it's an energy of knowing that your Nine and Ten Cups are out there, right? And walking in the direction of it. Even if you're walking into the unknown, you still go in the direction of your soul's calling. Again, the pilgrimage of the soul. Your intuition is guiding the way with the Eight of Cups. Why settle for eight cups is what I always say. Why settle for eight cups when you know you can have nine or ten out there? And because you know you're worthy of more, you will walk in the direction of more, even if you can't always see it. And this is telling me that because you've kept continued to walk in the direction of your worth and you're not going to settle for anything less than what you deserve, you've come to know your full self. And you've come to know also that you're worthy. So Spirit wants to say, I'm proud of you for knowing who you are. Knowing your worth, knowing that you deserve and are worthy of this wish granted, for one. Eight of Cups is also saying here that things are going to start to change because you've done this inner work. You've healed your inner child. You've gotten to know yourself in, in the process, right, along the way to manifesting this. You've gotten to know yourself, heal yourself. And with the Eight of Cups, you can expect things to change because there's more out there to explore. You don't want just Eight Cups, right? Who does? Not, not when we know that there's more out there for us. And you're listening to your soul in the direction, going by going in the direction of that and continuing to move forward with what it is that you desire, even if there's a lot of like non-action on the outside, right? But intuition is calling and pulling and tugging you to continue to follow through with what you know on an intuitive inherent level, soul level is out there. And spirit wouldn't have nudged you which, with this 
right? Unless it was. So consider that for a moment. You wouldn't have been inspired with this wish, this manifestation, this desire, right? Or this thing on your heart if it wasn't already out there. The reason why it was nudged on your heart is because it exists. And the Eight of Cups knows this and the Eight of Cups moves in the direction of it. Knight of Cups is following through with the heart. Okay. And staying in the heart. Traveling in the direction of it. And Spirit is saying here, the special message that you need right now is to realize that your wish is granted. It's already done. And now it's now that you've done the inner healing work, you can start with the Eight of Cups to move in the direction of it. Eight of Cups and Knight of Cups move in the direction of it. Knights are all about action, speed, momentum, travel, and movement. So it's a good indication with the Knight of Cups that you're moving in the direction of your heart with that Eight of Cups there. Okay. So again, what you've asked for is coming true. And now with the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Cups, you're actually moving in the direction of it. And that's the much needed message that Spirit wants to get across to you right now in this moment. Also feeling here is if this is about, like it could be really applied to anything that you're trying to materialize or manifest in your physical experience. But if this is love, it kind of feels like you needed to go through the shadow work, heal the inner child, experience your own personal individual spiritual journey. Okay. Before you can be put on the path to find the person who's going to give you the 10 cups you desire, you see? Who's going to be the, the other, I would say the vibrational match to, to enhance your life experience that way and give you the full 10 cups as a partnership. Because the eight of cups is going in the direction of nine cups and 10 cups, right? So consider that the nine cups is self-love, right? Self-love and wholeness within self, being satisfied on your own, like doing all fine all by your damn self, right? Then the Ten of Cups is about you after having completed or, or gotten to the place of that wholeness as an individual now being able to share it with someone else. Okay. So it feels like if this was love, let's say, and you desire love, this is saying you had to do your healing journey first, become whole as an individual. And then now that you've done that work, you can, you know, have that with someone else. You can add to each other's experience now i always say that you want to be whole and they like you want yourself to be whole and you want that person also to be whole too there's less room for triggers when you both are vibrating in a state of wholeness as individuals right when you have healing and they have healing yet still to do a lot of it let's say there's more room for trigger, more room for error. Trust me, you. it would be better off having done the healing work prior to meeting that person, that special someone, All right? So let's see if we can get a card here to finish this off for you as well as read the feather card and get you a final oracle to close out this reading. So let's see. Again, same thing applies, even if it's not love. Sometimes in order for us to arrive at our wish fulfilled, we have to do the inner work first to become whole within ourselves in order to align with the thing that we want to attract. Okay, same thing. And it looks like you're on the journey now. You know, you've gone through your healing um, or soon to experience that journey that'll put you then, right? The healing journey will end up putting you on the path to your wish fulfilled. Oh, look at that. Perseverance. Absolutely. Yep, perseverance. 
And sometimes, you know, like salmon, they're swimming upstream. Sometimes life can feel like we're swimming upstream. We're not making headway or progress, right? Um, and for some of you, I'm going to, I'm going to put this out there because the salmon can sometimes represent, well, for one, it represents, well, fish in general can represent abundance. So you're, you're coming into your abundance. Maybe part of the wish that you desire is to have abundance and prosperity, right? But the salmon to me also represents purpose. The reason for that is salmon swim upstream so they can spawn, right? Because that is their purpose. They go through all the the rigorous, right, travel upstream in the opposite direction of the current just to spawn. That is their purpose. And spawning is also mating, okay? So for some of you out there looking for love, um, you know, this is about you persevering in the direction of love or in the direction of the love that you know you're worthy of. Again, eight of cups, right? Because you're not going to settle for eight cups. Maybe somebody out there was only giving you eight cups and you're like, oh no, to heck with that. I deserve 10 cups. Why am I settling for this fool? Let me go find my 10 cups, right? And your wish is that you can find somebody who's going to compliment you and help you build 10 cups, right? And want to offer you 10 cups. Um, but again, like I said, this is about that mating, and if it's not about that mating, then it's about purpose, right? That's their sole purpose in life. The, the salmon is to spawn. But in this case, this is about you taking the journey, right? To your wish fulfillment. And part of your wish fulfillment has to do with your purpose. Is what this is telling me. Nonetheless, you have persevered. Right. And spirit wants you to continue to persevere through any stagnation or feeling of nothing happening on the outside. But that's not the point. Spirit wants to bring to your attention that even though the outside world wasn't showing you much, much progress through your perseverance. Through those moments of no action or activity happening on the outside, that doesn't mean that something wasn't change wasn't happening on the inside because it was. And it was changing you, shifting you, leveling you up, healing you. And putting you more in alignment with spirit and with your inner being than ever before. And that's what was needed in order to help you arrive at your wish. Okay. So let's see what this says. Bluebird. Nice. You are being gifted with blessings of happiness and peace. Yes. You see that. Holy cow. Your wish is granted. Your wish is going to bring you this happiness, this peace, and these blessings. So don't give up. Your It kind of feels like your wish is right around the corner. You got to stay in your heart, right? Allow this last leg of the healing journey to complete itself. Because with the Eight of Cups, soon you're going to be traveling and or, I mean, you could be literally or geographically traveling too. Um, maybe your wish is to travel somewhere else or move somewhere else, right? I'll throw that out there because of these two cards. But you're going to be traveling, right, in the direction of your wish now. Okay. So let's get a final card. Pile number four. Uh, feeling also here is being propelled toward change. Change that will guide you and move you in the direction of this. Okay. That's that's what's happening next. Okay. Once the healing journey is fully completed itself, you're being propelled towards change in the direction of this. Wish. I love it. So let's see if we can get a final oracle card. Pound number four. Okay, so this is awareness. Oh, look, and then the dragonfly is an energy of change as well. But it says, pay attention to the subtleties. Look with new eyes. There are signs and omens everywhere. Signs to confirm to you. Like I said in the beginning, if some of you were looking for confirmation, right, of the wish fulfilled or the dream coming true or the manifestation, you know, you being put on the path to it, is, you know, if it was even possible, right? This is saying that 
Spirit is going to give you signs of confirmation. This reading might be that sign of confirmation. You know, I don't know. Um, but to pay attention to the subtleties of the universe and the way that it delivers and speaks to you because it's always trying to confirm things to us if we're aware. Some of us, are, you know, we fall asleep in the game because we get stuck in our rut, right? But this is saying to keep your eyes open because there are going to be signs of confirmation everywhere you look to confirm your next steps, right? In the direction of this. So pay attention. Keep your eyes open. There are signs that Spirit's going to deliver to you everywhere you look to help you along the journey in the direction of this now. All right. And that's also the much needed message here. So this is what I have for you. Pile number four viewers. This is your reading. If you feel that this is helped and connected for you, by all means, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share and subscribe to support this channel. Want to take it a step further? Please check me out on Etsy. The link to my Etsy store is down below in the description box. Pay me a visit. I have handmade crystal jewelry and other things that I make there by hand on my free time. Powerful tectite crystals like Moldavite and Libyan Desert Glass. And I even have uh, tarot readings there. When available, keyword when, my availability is very limited at this time. So if you visit my shop and you don't see any readings there, that is why. Um, but I will try my best to repost readings as soon as I'm available again. And as soon as I've completed readings for other people who have purchased prior. So with all of that being said, Star Family, I'll leave you here. Much love wherever you are. Take care and always keep shining.